So hi folks, I'm back again as threatened. I thought I'd give a quick update on um, Grow Room. There's some stuff growing on, which I'm quite pleased about. I'll just show you some stuff I picked up the other day. I was out shopping and shopping for something and I come back with something completely different, which I suppose that happens to all of us. <laughs> I was looking for seed selection, as you do, <laughs> and slavering and thinking, oh, I could grow that next year. But anyway, what I've got, I mean, there's a lot of stuff now on internet again about um, sprouting. I'm not going to make a sprouting jar because you've seen it and uh, it's not particularly hard but I found some alfalfa seeds. Never tried them. I'm going to try them doing sprouting and also some mung beans. Now, I've no, no idea what they're going to be like. Never tried them so I'm going to try them and also some lentils. So I'm going to be sprouting them in the kitchen, but that's what I wanted to do. And what I did find was some red sorrel seeds. So I'm going to start some of these in here this year and I'm going to stick loads around the garden. And uh, because obviously they're very attractive and you can eat them. So that's cool. I didn't expect to find them. I, I, I have got a couple of plants, but it's only a couple of plants. I also bought some of the good old basil. I'm missing my basil now, so I'm going to start growing some of that. I'm saying I'm not going to let you watch me plant them, probably, you'll see updates and stuff if, if you're interested, you can watch. <coughs> and these are my uh, mini kiwis. These have been stratifying in my fridge and hopefully, uh, I didn't have much of a response so I only stratified a few. Well, I was going to give some away, but I'm going to try and start these as well and find a spot in garden for these. Apparently they are very rampant, so I've got to make some sort of thing to put them on and they like very well drained soil at the moment my garden is like a mud bath so but that's that and what I'll do is I'll just give a quick look at some other stuff what I were talking about last week so guys the micro veg I did can you see that effect blah, 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 blah. these bulbs aren't best bulbs these are what I had as spares so I've got a result you're on the sky cam by the way <laughs> but I got a result that's the broccoli. The broccoli in the, in the earth came out a lot better, so did the beet. Um, I've got these radishes, broccoli and beet. The beet in the um, vermiculite mix, all the vermiculite seem to have stuck to ends of the plants as they come up. So I don't know if that sort of slowed them down, which I'm sure it will have, but it covered leaves up, covered starter leaves. These have got just starting to get some of the second leaves on. So are these, obviously there are with these lights they're sort of really lanky but they're for micro veg I'm gonna snip them off and eat them today <laughs> these this is the end for these so I mean main part of the experiment was just to see if they grow in that sort of environment for a couple of weeks it's been two weeks I could have probably I could have harvested these last week but I wanted to reuse the media that was the idea with that I've got a couple of other thoughts for it if I can get them to going a week growing a week so but that's what they've they've turned out like i mean these radishes are still nice you know what i mean i love radishes so i just eat it all the time but i'll just give a quicker closer look at them see that one's in soil and they're the ones that were in the mica light and sand but like i said I'm just trying some stuff. If I, if I can get like two or three trays going all the time, I've got like some nice fresh stuff coming out. And with the uh, the beans and stuff, what I'm going to uh, sprout, it's like that's my winter sorted sort of thing. So the Triffid Tomato. I'd like to thank Harva, Garden in, in Norway, for giving me some advice on that. And what I've done is I've curled it down on the string. So, it can, so I can keep it under control, I can get more light on the entire plant as well, which is fantastic because it's going to need it. Still got flowers, I've been going around and pollinating as they come open, but I've had nothing set yet. The, low, the, the plants, the, the flowers that were on the lower part of the plant have died back, so we'll see what we get. If anything, it's an experiment. Peppers, nah. <laughs> These could have been on last week, some of these, but I don't know. I have peppers. Now, they literally doubled in size in the last couple of days. I noticed them a couple of days ago. There's another one here. And that was... Oh, I'll try and get light out. That little one there 
was half that size yesterday. So I'm really pleased with that. There's lots of flowers on. A lot of flowers have dropped off. I've been uh, pollinating it. The other one has got flowers, but it's yet to set any fruit. So I still don't know whether that's a bell pepper. I know which one, that one that is now though. So that's like clear, clear to me what that is. Uh, and I'll just get another look at that fig. Look at that. It's gone crazy. And I'm going to put that right underneath because it's, it's loving them lights underneath. So I'm definitely building another light unit with the fish tank bulbs in it. Even if I, I do the same as that, half and half, I, that works superb. Underneath really healthy. So I'd like to get that done because I've got some very special tomato seeds that I want to start and some other stuff. So, but them lights won't be running anymore. I'll be taking them off today. There's, they're a waste of time. Uh, I need to sort like, more bulbs out. So that's that. I think uh, I've shown you everything that's relevant and took enough of your time. So nice to be nice. Oh, thanks, uh, Paul in Thailand. I've just had me lemon tea, <laughs> lemon and ginger tea. I'll put a little clip in that about that as well. So this ginger plant, there are still some new. It's still putting out new stuff, but. I just really want to see what's <laughs> what I've got. Um, obviously, not going to harvest it all. I'll, put, I'll replant some of it back in. So let's have a look. It's got a good root system. it's not very big and well developed it's still developing but what I'm going to do is take some of it and use it nice room system it's not much of a muchness but it's something considering it was grown inside under under CFLs, it's, uh, I'm quite pleased I've got some, but like I said, I've got actually got another pot as well, so I'm going to pot some of this back up, take a piece off it, or a couple of pieces off it, and repot it up, so that's that, <laughs> so that's one of the gingers, I'm only harvesting that, I'm going to plant rest of it back, this is um, the lemongrass I've just harvested, uh, Paul from uh, Life in Thailand gave me a great, uh, well, showed me how to do tea with this, so I'm gonna make some tea that were last year. I've been waiting for this to, to mature, so don't call me impatient. So nice to be nice, cheers, and uh, have a very Merry Christmas. I'm assuming this was a bit last one before Christmas, so Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and uh, enjoy. Lemongrass and ginger tea, spoonful of honey, nice.